Hey all and welcome back to Winter Olympics DS. I'm not saying that friggin' long tile every single time, okay? <laughs> Previously, we beat Metal Sonic. Um, didn't really stick the landing, but I guess the game doesn't really give a shit as long as you don't land in the drink or anything. So, uh, yeah, he, he just left. He went back to his home planet. Yeah, like, fuck this shit, I'm out. <laughs> no, we will be hearing more about him toward the end. So it's not it's not the end of the world. He's not gone for good, but he's probably not going to be doing too much more of use. <laughs> true, true. And uh, if you're doing an LP, just a heads up, maybe save after you've made sure your recording is all sound and whatnot. Trust me, Yeah. I've made that mistake many times before. Yeah, and shout out to man's best friend, Autosafe, right? <laughs> <laughs> Turn that shit off straight away in Pokemon Sword, I can tell you that much. <laughs> of course, yeah. It's, it's definitely a good show. So, the, the second half of Sparkleton. Um, I'm trying to remember some of the events coming up. Um, I think the, uh, the final... Oh, no, wait, I got a news brief. Gotta talk about it. <laughs> Mario and Luigi are twins. Luigi is taller, but is the younger twin. See, that's obvious, but at a, f like quick glance you would assume Luigi being taller makes him the older brother so these sorts of obvious factoids are nice for people just getting into the series and you've got to remember these are like really casual friendly games and I'm not saying that as like a, a disparaging comment or anything they're very easy for like non gamers to get into and they can be like gateway games for proper Mario and Sonic games this was my gateway drug into Sonic. <laughs> oh, you got a giant shoe. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but like, also given it is a crossover game, there is also the fact that like, if you're just a Mario fan and you don't follow Sonic, then you know, or vice versa, then you got that kind of stuff going on as well. Oh, definitely, and also, uh, yeah, my my nephew Kitty's come to say hello. Oh. Yeah, basically, like we had a little short break, and uh, he, uh, he he was outside, and uh, so on and so forth. But do you want to say hello? Can we just film him playing and have that as the video <laughs> instead? I mean, to be fair, it would be very exciting because he's like an adorable little nephew, Kitty. He's more interesting than this fucking event. I do not like this oh, one. Oh, it's this <laughs> one. No. See, if this was in 3D, it would be cool. But because it's like side on, it can be a bitch and a half to see things coming. Especially, look how fast you're going and transitioning between screens and whatnot. That is bad. Your hazards are the blocks, but you can never actually see the fucking things coming. You get the little exclamation point exclamation point come up to warm you, except it comes in a bit late and it doesn't always easily tip you off as to whether it's like an over or under. <laughs> so like that there, I just sort of crashed right into it, like as soon as I landed. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you completed the mission. Like, it could have gone terribly wrong. Yes, when we're doing these missions, please pay no attention to how many hearts I lose between <laughs> my events. Because <laughs> some of them did have quite a few resets, and you do lose a heart even if you just back out and go in, so you can't just do that as a trick like you can in mainstream Sonic games and whatnot. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose they need to present some challenge in some form or another. Yeah, because this kind of works out like as your balance because if you lose all your hearts then you get a game over and as far as I recall you lose your crystals so you just go back and have to do some more events like some different events and I will say there are a lot of events I'm not going to be showing off all of them because a good handful are duplicates and like there's no real need to show no, non-mandatory no. ones in that respect but if you if you're not a fan of like a particular mission then Quite often there is an alternative that you can do instead to get a crystal and I do kind of appreciate that. Granted you could take the cynical approach and say that that's them knowing that some of them aren't all that but you know preferences or whatnot. Yeah definitely. And this is a gimmick we're gonna have to come back to later because oh, yeah. we don't have a way to reach over to those buttons even though we could probably just like push Sonic over there or something. <laughs> I know, like freeze Luigi and hold him out as like a stick or something. We should be able to reach. Yeah, like he's tall. If he if he stood on the edge and someone else had held his feet in place or something, he should be able to reach, right? Oh god, definitely. In theory, but this is one of those things where you have to do it quickly, otherwise it resets. 
Okay, well, we need to collect five characters and have one of them in each place. <laughs> this is a good way to make everyone fall off the island, I realise. Oh, d definitely. Um, also, going to say that Buttons is back to say hi. He's out giving a little purr to everyone. Richie is officially a cat lady now. <laughs> no, I am officially a cat uncle. There's a difference. <sighs> Can you stop calling yourself a cat uncle? It's kind of getting on my nerves a little bit here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, we're going to play as Peach here and a little bit of ski shooting. Pretty fun, this one. I mean, this is basically the biathlon, really, isn't it? Uh, it's a different kind of shooting minigame. So this is a touch string one, you want to tap the targets as they come up and you get combos for like building up a streak of the same colour. So try not to let yourself get baited into breaking the streak or hitting one of the Eggman ones which breaks it obviously. Yeah. And of course they put you up against Shadow for the shooting one. <laughs> well of course! I'm the coolest! Pow, ba pow Yes, 18 points! Love how they're just reusing assets from Mario Kart Wii, by the way. You know, those fucking uh, item boxes and whatnot. Well, to be fair, they might as well. Like, if they're gonna remake a Mario Kart item box, it'd look the fucking same. Well, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, you know, that's just being efficient. I'm just, yeah, I'm calling a spade a spade here. Yeah, like, stuff like that I don't mind. The stuff that I do kind of raise an eyebrow about is, like, in the opening cutscene when we had the stock renders that we've seen in, like, five other games. <laughs> That's when it becomes a little bit obvious, but hey. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, sorry, I got engrossed in Sparkleton's theme for a second there and forgot to do Conte. Now we have two crystals, which is more than one and two more than zero. And we need to gather two more to have four and break the wall. Are you sure we don't need one and then one more? Like, seriously, uh, I feel like that's a bit, a bit more logical. You're a stupid slot, Richie. That's not how it goes at all. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'm sorry, it's a very funny thing to just randomly call. So, oh, God! <laughs> yep, he's here. Like, there is, I think, actually a few on the chow in each world. And they're basically filling in the role of what Ticol did in Adventures. Like, if you're not sure what you're meant to be looking for, just go talk to Tomachow and he'll tell you. Fair so, is. nothing out of the ordinary for him, but he doesn't talk in this game like out loud, so you haven't got to worry about him. <laughs> oh, bless up. Thank you, Jesus. I saw Amy down there. Are we going to go have a chat with her? Eventually. I can't remember which order I did these missions, but I do do all the important ones. <laughs> you got it. And this is how we break up the worlds, because there are little things like this. What you actually have to do is have Sonic spin dash into this from the other side, which is kind of funny when you see the animation come up. I'm sure Sonic could fucking jump there. We've seen him make bigger no, jumps than No, no, you stupid. No, obviously. Oh, here's Amy. Oh, jeez. I wanted to go on a date with Sonic, because that's my only personality. Basically, yeah, I mean, she's improved slightly, but also, I mean, even Toad thinks that, you know, it's just, yeah, that's Amy, Sonic's girlfriend. Look, you're the only two canonical hedgehogs. You need to fuck or Silver won't be bored. <laughs> Wait, is Silver actually a uh, descendant of Sonic now? <laughs> I forgot about Shadow for a second, which is, uh, look at Silver's fur and look at one of the other female characters, and you can probably deduce who uh, Silver's, well, who's, uh, <sighs> mixing up my Sonic things here. Look alright, Shadow and Rouge bang and then they make Silver in the future. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> and this is what's listed on your F list. I get it. <laughs> not sure how to feel about the fact Richie got that joke. Well, I, mean, I don't know whether I really got the joke. I just laughed because it felt like the right moment to laugh. Like, uh, as most people will have noticed, I have a sort of slight nervous laughter every now and again. It was very bad for a number of years, and it's, I've sort of slightly improved on it, but I still laugh randomly every now and again. It's just my personality type, really. Well, yeah, now you've just gone to fake polite laugh, which I really wish you'd win yourself off more. I was literally just about to do it then, so uh, <laughs> I think I've started to improve. 
I can just throw it into the, uh, you know, pot, tr trying to take a drink of water and just spluttering it all over myself whilst in the middle of a commentary session. Because, you know, that's just how I do these days. That's a classic, though, mate. That's an evergreen technique right there. Alright, so we're going to have a bit of ski shooting here. Score more points than Amy. Extra points if you get it between the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> See, that sounds fairly morbid, then you realise that you can't shoot a one-eyed creature between the eyes. Okay. Yeah, I really wish you hadn't brought up the fucking Cyclops eyeball thing again. I was this close to getting it out of my brain. <laughs> it's certainly consolation. Tails has two eyes. That's true. And in the movie, Sonic also has two eyes, so yeah, we're making progress. <laughs> it's fine, the next game he'll be back to one. <laughs> oh yes. Um, but at least in the meantime, like, the two eyes also doesn't look terrible because, you know, they did that little bit with the sort of fur and um, sort of going up to give the illusion of the Omni Eye. And that's, that's clearly the way to go with these sorts of things. It's shooting, guys, I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do love those multicolored targets, especially when you hit them because they give you a lot of points. Like, compare my current score to her current score. <sighs> I don't think she passed the rifle test before getting into this event proper, honestly. No, I don't think she did either. Isn't that a safety requirement? But this is the part where it gets a bit harder because stuff starts blending in with the background and some of them start going a bit quicker, so, you know, it can change in this phase. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. Multi-target. Oh yes, combos! I think I shot Eggman. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine, don't worry about it. Yeah, although I mean I have to say, like, she's... While she's not fully caught up, she's caught up quickly in this sort of second round in terms of sort of like, you know, doing reasonably well. Well, that's combos for you, mate. Thankfully, the AI is stupid enough to hit an Eggman thing every so often, so Flame is staying comfortably ahead here. Yeah, that's not her doing well, that's me sucking. <laughs> <sighs> okay. It's nice winning. It's even better when you win in the third and final round, which I really should have been preparing for. This is, well, look at it, it's automatic. It's moving, baby, it's the future. Yes, this can be quite difficult, I will say, because, uh, like, I don't know, I think it might have been because I was playing a DS game upscaled on the 3DS, so, like, the hitboxes are a little bit funky there. Possibly. But, like, sometimes it does feel like I definitely hit the thing and it didn't register. I mean, it's very possible. I mean, obviously, because the, the bottom screen on the 3DS was not the best thing in the world. Oh, well, it's fine for 3DS games, it's just when you're upscaling a DS game which has its very specifically set hitboxes. Yes. And given now it's... I, I don't know the specifics of this, but I would imagine given it's having to awkwardly make the image quality bigger, that's probably going to account for the points that register on the screen itself as well. Did she just shoot two Eggmans in a row? I think she fucking did. <laughs> <laughs> that's Amy for you. Yeah, but, I mean, I'd say at this point, while no, you're still winning, you can't really... Well, you couldn't comment for a minute there, because you were still on zero points, while she had about 300. Well, yeah, but still, I'm more worried about the big guy with a hammer in this one. He's going to become a target sooner or later there. <laughs> and that is the bastards from Sonic Heroes that take forever to beat that I really don't like. Well, just be thankful this isn't Team Dark mode, where it has more health. Oh god, yeah, that, like, oh my god, Team Dark Mode and Heroes, that thing was a ball ache. And I'd also be thankful that he's not one of the fuckers that has the helmet on top of that that you have to knock off before you can even start chipping away at him, because they're the worst ones in Final Fortress. Yeah, I've been playing Heroes recently, I'm butt mad all over again. Why would you run out of all the Sonic games, and I'm not saying, I'm not even saying Heroes is a bad game here, because I like Heroes. Why Heroes exactly? What prompted you to do that? Because I've done every other 3D Sonic game for my channel at this point. I've got to just finish it up for completionism's sake. <laughs> well, at least there is a reason there. It's not just, oh, I just decided to start playing Heroes again for no good reason. It was, I've covered all of the other 3D Sonic games on the channel, on my channel. I need to do the last one for completion set. Like, that, that makes it better. It doesn't make it great, but it makes it better. 
be fair, like, Heroes, I've been kind of all over the place for my opinions on it over the years. Like, I will say that it's one of the weakest Sonic games, but it does still have some redemption. Like, where, the sections where you get to go fast are satisfying, and the music's fucking great as well. I wish the graphics weren't as overly saturated as they are, because that's a bit of an ice train after a while, but, you know, I, like, I'm not as let down by it as I was years ago, you know. Oh yeah, definitely. Alright, let's get going then. We have added Amy to the character repertoire and the Pico Pico Hammer. Hmm, yes, Frost Town, the Totem, it's all coming together. I think we might have another minigame coming up soon. Oh, fuck yes! <laughs> <laughs> That sounded like you started trying to play that up as an exaggerated <laughs> thing and then it became genuine halfway through. Amy is firmly convinced that she is Sonic's girlfriend and Sonic should file a restraining order. Wow, they put that they put that second bit in really small font on it. Yeah, it, it was tiny. It was so small I couldn't see it. And uh, on the flip side, uh, Vancouver 2010 was the first time Canada won gold in an official sport at an Olympic Games hosted at home. Okay, cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to throw these in randomly as we go. Because, you know, <laughs> we need something to, so, you know, pique our interest. <sighs> Alright, it's not a totem pole. Fuck me, I guess. It's a spinny pole. I don't know what the technical term is. <laughs> wow. You had one chance to make yourself seem better than me, and you fucking blew it. I don't care about looking better than anyone. I think they should be obvious by now. Oh, that's true. That's true. So, yeah, we're talking to everyone here. What it essentially wants you to do is there's a set order that you'll need to hit them in. I'm not doing that. I'm just, I memorised which ones they were, and by memorised, I mean wrote it down on a piece of paper, <laughs> and then just went back to it on this take and just recorded it. That is fair enough, because, I mean, these types of things can just last for bloody ages otherwise. It's more the sort of thing of, I know how difficult it is to talk over characters talking as we're demonstrating here, so I didn't want another five minutes of that. Yay! <laughs> uh, I saw someone have success hitting Eggman third. <sighs> okay, got to do it in a proper order and whatnot. Thank you. Chow, 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 chow. <laughs> yeah, somehow we can understand him just saying chow, 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 chow over and over. What does a chow say when he wants to say goodbye? Chow! Exactly. Yeah, it's not really that funny, a joke. <laughs> Sorry. Fuck off, Rich. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Come on, Rich. G give us a better joke, then. You're on the spot now. Go on. Um, the flaming claw. Damn, got him. <laughs> I deserve that. <laughs> I really deserve that. <laughs> uh. All right. So we got the order. Thank you for cutting past all this, by the way. I really appreciate it. Oh god, yeah, because, uh, like, I mean, me and Sam had a full, like, hour of hunting for gold at the end of uh, Luigi's Mountain 3, so uh, anything to cut out anything at this point, I'm just like, yes, please! Was hunting for gold mandatory, or did you just feel like doing it? Um, we really wanted to get the best rank, and so it was uh, kind of a necessity. Okay, so it wasn't mandatory, you just wanted the shiny stuff, I get it. Well, you know, sometimes a guy just wants an A rank. There's a little bit of delay in when you choose your thing there, so you might want to be careful, otherwise you'll just have to repeat the process over and over again. Yeah, thankfully, with these mini-games like, to progress on, like this one and the Princess Peach one and whatnot, if you do fail it, it doesn't cost a life, as far as I remember. So, like, you are not got to worry about, like, fucking up too much there. Oh, that's good. But over here, we get to a new section of Frost Town, and although each of the chapter divisions are kind of, like, level by level, there are these extra sections of previous levels that you can come back to and get some different sports and I will be showing off some of them because they are sometimes just a bit of variety just to switch, like change up what we're showing off in each part and sometimes I do just prefer the mini games there over doing several variants of the new one that is introduced so yeah we, we'll get kind of all over the place but it keeps it fresh that's my justification <laughs> yeah no that is fair enough and you know since we had another news thing uh the united states won the most medals in total at the 2010 winter olympics the second time doing so at the winter olympics 
and broke the record for the most medals won at a single Winter Olympics with 37, a record held up to then by Germany in 2002 when they held 36. Okay. Well, since we're bringing up news, and one I hear something on my Twitter feed from the New York Post, Nymphomaniac Duck has traumatised penis removed after non-stop sex. <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> I mean, there are non sequiturs, and then there are non sequiturs. That's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, spin the wheel to get a skill. Draw any skill except for nothing to win. This one they just weren't fucking trying. <laughs> yeah, this was nothing, right? Let's go back to the fucking duck penis thing. No, we're not going back to the duck penis that's to be traumatised right now. No, like, ducks, their dicks are kind of fascinating because they're a corkscrew, aren't they? Yes. That's one of my favourite little bits of trivia about like evolution and whatnot. The fact that the male ducks are aggressive, like predatory towards their females. So the females they evolved to have more complex, like reproductive systems, and then the males responded by growing corkscrew dicks so they could get into them. And like that's evolution. That's proof of evolution, really, isn't it? Thank God we don't have a duck character in Sonic right now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, like, after years and years of memeing on Knuckles' junk, you know, <laughs> it would be nice to change it up a little bit. Oh, God. I mean, like, we were saying, like, let's make, you know, this, this, this part a little bit more high energy, a little bit more fun. <laughs> and we started talking about testicles and penises and all sorts of various other reproductive organs and uh, this this commentary it, it's gone it's done we're, we're finished <laughs> uh, we got another few old chat <laughs> oh god an ice wall blocks the way but we have four crystal toad told us and the sparky will knock it down with evil ice magic well, I don't think it's evil ice magic, but it's ice magic. But yeah. <laughs> are you sure? I thought we only had like three ice crystals. Like I, 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 I thought Toad would tell us when we got another one. Like I mean, I thought we had one, but like that Toad didn't add up to four, does it? Mm. We'll never know, Richie. We'll never know. Well, at least we can continue on this. Yay! And I think we have a boss coming up. If oh, there he is. Ooh. Yep, Dry Bowser, who is apparently a different character to not so naked Bowser. Huh. Well, as uh, Brian David Gilbert, if that is his name from uh, Polygon, the funny man who does the videos and whatnot that I enjoy, said, Dry Bowser brings up a worrying question. Is there a wet Bowser? Is that what Living Bowser is known as? <laughs> well, yeah, that's, that's how he is when he's with Peach, right? <sighs> oh. oh. You're making this far too easy, though. <laughs> well, actually, no, we're not making it easy. Nintendo is making it easy, and that's part of the problem. Well, I don't see it as a problem, but okay. <laughs> this is going to be another one of the fucking side-on race down the mountain ones. So, as you can probably tell, I wasn't too thrilled about seeing a harder variant of that. Yeah, well, just get it over with, because thankfully this is one of the only boss fights that involves that thing. Yeah, like, that is one thing, that the bosses, they do keep them, um, like, unique to the particular world, so they don't really repeat boss challenges. Like, sometimes the characters show up again, but the challenges themselves are quite distinct from one another. Uh-huh. Okay, we're good. Oh, I forgot, he actually talks, Jesus. I mean, I have to say, this would be weird to sort of witness, because, I mean, for starters, he's a skeleton, and skeletons, by their very nature of skeletons, don't have, you know, vocal cords. To be able and to they're speak, not animate, so Richie! They're... Your fucking sense of priorities here is so skewed! I mean, <laughs> yes, but sort of in a world where skeletons can move, like, the next thing is, well, you know, they've got no organs, so they can't speak. Where are his organs, guys? <laughs> where are they? Okay, so we've got to reach the goal before Dry Bowser. Rawr, I'm a skeleton. There's probably a strategy to doing this without getting fucked over, but I resorted to good old-fashioned trial and error for this one. Oh I'm my god. Honest. He's a shadow beast as well, in addition to being a skeleton. That's just terrifying. Well, I mean, he's the bad guy. He's meant to be kind of intimidating. 
Well, he's meant to be, but like, turning from a skeleton into full-blown what the hell is that is a different kettle of fish. I think what I did for this one is I just stockpiled mushrooms. I like jumped and boosted in the air. Just I went flying over everything. Oh, I might as well have done that with my eyes closed right off and I got twatted, but <laughs> I won, so I'll take it. <laughs> That's what's important. Yeah. No mistake, you lost. Now give me back my friend, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Go and run away in shame. <laughs> oh, I'll be back in the final world, pretty much. Yes, I'll be back. That was a bit piratey. Don't yeah, know right. I'll, I'll be back. I'll need your claws and your doubloons. <laughs> I do like the fact that even like the evil boss characters have the sportsmanship to like accept their losses and actually hand over the guys. Like they don't seem like the kind of characters who would do that normally. No, I mean to be fair, I would kind of say they're idiots because, like, I mean, totally fair if you know you get defeated and whilst you know you're sort of took it out or whatever, um, Mario and Sonic free the spirits from their cages and then you know you can't really do much about it, but they're just kind of just like, eh, I lost, uh, fine, have it. I suppose like that could be a pride kind of thing in that they don't want to win using underhanded tactics, but still. Uh, probably, but then it's Dry Bowser and Eggman Nega and Bowser and Eggman and they use underhanded tactics all the time. There we go. Ah, beautiful. There's a frost town on the lower right there. So, pow, pow, snow magic. Shah. Snow is falling all around me. Yeah, beautiful. Look at that giant ass mountain specifically for skiing down. Polar Straits. This is a fun one. Another day stage. So, yeah, that's where we're going to be going next time. Yeah, but we've got to get our obligatory bunch of emblems and characters talking to us to explain. Look, there's another mysterious cannon just in the middle of nowhere. Well, I mean, at least they say, oh, look, it's a cannon rather than, oh, look, it's another black hole. I wonder what's going to happen if I jump into that. <laughs> hmm, many things or nothing at all. So Sparky's going to stay behind. That's fine. He's like the guardian of this place anyway. They're going to set up the Olympics now that the snow's back. And one, and uh, I guess we're going to head on. Uh, I was looking away when the s snow spirit said his name. Is his name Polar? I believe so, yes. Like I said earlier on, like, I don't remember who these fuckers are. They're basically just items that talk. <laughs> oh, oh, flame. Well, thankfully, I have them all here. Yeah, Polar. P-O-L-A. Good stuff. Uh, Polar of Polar Straits. They really thought above and beyond with him. <laughs> oh, totally. Don't save. Don't save. Not until you've got the Polar emblem, at least. Holy shit. <laughs> Priorities. Indeed, right, indeed. Something you could learn, Richie. Anyway, <gasps> we'll see you next time when we head to Polar Straits, the third world of the game. See you then. Whoa!